Hi, I'm Anthony of Mark 7, and this is the Titan, our newest commercial loading system. When we set out to design the Titan, there were three main criteria we wanted to achieve. First, we wanted to be able to support large calibers up to 3.3 Lapua. Second, we wanted increased throughput over the Revolution series, and we wanted to be able to add double output capability for specific configurations such as processing, priming, and loading with pre-primed brass. Third, we wanted to do all of this on one machine with a modular core so that the same machine can be converted from small pistol to large rifle and configured in either single feed or double feed. The challenge with supporting larger calibers is that the press stroke length needs to be increased, which inherently decreases the throughput on smaller calibers, such as small pistol or small rifle, where high output is critical. This required us to come up with a solution to be able to achieve the stroke length for 338 Lapua without impacting the throughput of smaller calibers, such as 9mm. We did this by independently driving the shell plate and priming feed systems with separate motors from the main servo motor that drives the tool head. By independently driving the indexing, we can optimize the stroke length for a given caliber, giving the Titan variable stroke. The full stroke on a Titan is 4 inches. In pistol mode, the overall stroke is minimized to 2.75 inches. In standard rifle mode, it uses the full stroke, but the indexing kicks in about three quarters of the way up for increased throughput. In XL mode, the tool head completely raises, then the shell plate indexes to allow the largest calibers to have enough headroom for a seated projectile to clear when indexing. This allows the system to fully maximize the cycle speed for a given caliber. Motorizing the indexing has other advantages as well. Mechanical index adjustments that were necessary on the revolution is no longer required. The system auto calibrates on startup and monitors the index position every cycle and does micro adjustments when needed to ensure precise indexing and clean guide pin engagement. If a jam occurs or troubleshooting is required, the shell plate and priming disc can be put in neutral and manually rotated forwards or backwards, which improves usability and efficiency. We also have built-in auto recorrection, so if the shell plate does encounter a jam due to an obstruction or stubborn case not ejecting, it will attempt to re-index while the rest of the system pauses until indexing is complete. We also incorporated onboard priming, digital powder measure delivery, and increased collator capacity and speed for the case feeder and bowl feeder to minimize feeding components and increase throughput. Over the years, we received many requests for revolution in specific configurations, such as processing, priming, and loading with pre-prime brass, which we ultimately started producing. By adding two more stations on a Titan, we can effectively double the output of the machine in these configurations, using six stations for each setup. Let's take a look at an example of how single feed and dual feed systems might be set up. The Titan comes with a fully framed machine enclosure, which not only provides safety shields when the machine is running, but also allows the collators to be mounted where needed for various configurations. The panels can be removed to provide easy access when needed. This machine is set up in full loading configurations for 338 Lapua, with a case feeder and bolt feeder mounted to the frame. We'll take you through each station for this configuration.
This Titan has been set up in dual feed priming for nine millimeter. So the 12 stations have been divided into six station setups. Two case feeders are mounted on the frame, one feeding into each side of the tool head. In addition, there are two priming systems also feeding into each side of the press. This way, with each stroke, two rounds are completed, effectively doubling your parts per minute throughput. In order to create even greater throughput on the Titan, we optimize all the component feeding systems for speed. The case feeders and bolt feeders both use the larger 16 inch MA systems collators that provide high capacity and variable speed adjustments. We developed a pneumatic bullet seating dropper. This has an adjustable preseat which prevents bullet topple. And in most pistol and small rifle applications for newer process brass does not require neck expansion prior to seating. We offer two powder measure types, HS for high speed and HT for high torque. The difference is the size of the motor and the drivetrain. The HS is belt driven, giving it the ability for higher speeds and the HT has a geared drivetrain which gives it the extra torque needed to shear extruded powder. Both powder measures have smart motors, and if there is a jam or fault in the metering, the system will detect the error and stop the machine prior to the powder check sensor. The Titan supports doubling of every sensor and has plenty of additional ports for future expansion. For example, this machine is equipped with swage sense, a primer orientation sensor, a case detection sensor for the bullet dropper, and a bullet seat confirmation sensor. We also included IR sensors for both case and projectile levels to turn on and off the collators. We developed an entirely new control system and user interface for the Titan series that uses a pressure sensitive touch screen and we include an emergency stop and recovery system. The tool head and top plate are constructed with one inch thick alloy steel to support the sizing forces required for 338 Lapua. This machine is able to handle both high volume production runs with dedicated calibers and shorter low development runs where multiple caliber conversions are required. Give us a call. We'd love to talk about what the Titan can do for you.